Hey y'all, Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm out here in my shed. I'm going to attempt something here. <laughs> these batteries, I don't know if you remember when I got these a few months ago. I bought four of them off of a lady. Uh, they're two years old. And I brought them home. It was about a two hour drive, two and a half hour drive. And I forgot to take my multimeter with me to check them. So, I got home and two of these didn't even register 6 volts. These are 12 volt gel cell batteries. Um, I only paid $50 a piece for them. And uh, I was real happy when I picked them up. But then I got home and found out two of them were excellent. Two of them were less than 6 volts. So, I got a hold of her. And she apologized just like crazy. Because her boys had grabbed the wrong two. She knew two of them were down real low. Um, so I drove back out there. She gave me the other two. She told me to keep these. Use them as core charges or whatever if I wanted to. Well, I decided I'm going to try to bring them back. Uh, and see if they're even usable. They're uh, 108 amp hour gel cell uh, batteries. Now, the problem with gel batteries, or uh, AGM sealed batteries, my regular battery tender that I use um, won't charge these. You can't use them on these because the current is too high. These gel cells need to have a low current. So what I found was Battery Tender Plus. Um, it only charges at 1.25 amps. So... I'm going to try this out and see if these are usable. If I can bring them up, they don't sulfate or anything. They're gel. There's not, you know, you don't do any of that stuff to them. So what I'm going to do is put them on the charger for a few hours and come out and check my progress. Bring you guys with me. We see how it's going. Um, I don't know if I can show you the voltage <laughs> with one hand. Uh, I will attempt this if I can hold the phone where I need it and get on a uh, on the post so let's see if I do this see how this works out if you can even read this all right 5.87 that's all I'm getting out of this and the other one's just like it so boy, what an odd angle to read that at so what I'm going to do is I just got this in the mail and it's so low that a standard battery charger wouldn't even read it to charge it to begin with so I'm hoping this will do it let me get it opened and get it hooked up and then I'll show you what's going on. So, got my little clamps on there. Down to the battery tender plus. So what I'm going to do is plug it in now. Um, and when I plug it in, hopefully this says... See if you can read that. Red light flashing. Something's not right. <laughs> if I get a steady red light, that means I'm charging. That would be good news. Um, it will take many hours to get it up to a green, you know, get it up to where it's floating. Uh, when the green light's flashing, it's better than 80% charged. I think that says. And then once it's solid green it's complete so let me plug in the uh plug it in and see what i get see if i get any lights at all so i gotta put the phone down for a minute <laughs> all right i'm back it's 1 30 let's see what's happening huh it's flashing red and green now, I wonder what that means. I'm opening this door so I can get some light. Let's 
that say battery greater than 80% charged red light flashing is AC power applied battery not connected properly so which one is it? <laughs> Let me put my meter on it and see what it says. Hang on a minute. Might be able to do this a little bit easier now and clamp the meter on. Alright, so I got my meters in the clamps there. I'm still going flashing red and green. Let's see what happens when I turn this on. It's not good. It's actually gone down. Because it was 5.87. Now it's 5.59. Let me make sure I got a good connection. Hang on. Well, I cleaned the battery terminals. Should have done that first, maybe. Reconnected everything. Got the red light on again, so it's charging. Uh, after I cleaned the battery terminals, I checked it with the meter, and it came up 5.8. I put these on and started changing, charging. Put the meter on it again and it came up 5.54 so I don't know what that means I'm going to do a little bit of research but I'll be checking it again later all right so as a final update <laughs> the uh, results of this it was alternating red and green when I came back out to the shed to check on it and you saw the how much the voltage had dropped uh, so I disconnected it all looked in the book and it said if it's you know alternating red and green that means you have the terminals hooked up backwards then I knew they weren't but I did it intentionally and plugged it back in and it was immediately going red and green flashing back and forth so I put the cables back to where they belonged plugged it back in again and got the solid red light and about 30 seconds later it started flashing between red and green again so I called Deltran their support people where they were awesome got right through to them didn't have a long wait or anything and uh, explained to her what I was doing and what these batteries were and she said they've got that feature built in it's a marginal battery and it's not going to hold a charge so what it does it flashes green and red to tell you it's not even going to bother putting voltage in it because it's not going to charge it or it's not going to hold it so at least I know now these two batteries are going to be good for a core charge um, the other batteries do really well um, all four of them are 12.8. Just they've been sitting there for three months, four months. They're all still at 12.8. Everything's good on it. So I've got two core charges here now. But I think it was worthwhile test with the battery tender plus uh, to find out that they weren't any good. I didn't, you know, waste my time trying to hook them up to a battery bank that wouldn't work. So... That's the result of that test. This is Joe with St. Bernard Acres. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm out.